taking the 4x to the right, then you divide each term by minus uh, 3, by minus 3, you get the equation of y equal to 4 over 3x minus 3, right? And be aware that once the equation is in the general form y equal to mx plus c, this is your y-intercept, which means the graph will pass through a point where y is negative 3. So all you have to do is determine the x-intercept. So, to determine the x-intercept, you have to put substitute y equal to 0. So you end up having, I'm using the general equation by the way, but I can also substitute in the original. So that would be 0 equal to 4 over 3x minus 3. You get 3 equal to 4 over 3x. Denominator is the 1 there. Then you cross multiply. You get 9 equal to 4x. So x is going to be 9 over 4. Okay? That's what you're supposed to do. It's not complicated. So the graph is going to pass through the point where y is negative 3 x is 9 over 4. You don't really need a table. You don't really need a table. I told you that with a straight line, you don't really need a table. Right? So, from here, you go to... Okay, you just have to draw now. No. But if you, if, you, if you use the domain of from minus 5 to 5 using the calculator, that's fine. But uh, generally, you don't need uh, a, a table of values. It's not necessary. All right. So I've got minus 3. Since I've got minus 3, so I can say, so let me move it up a little bit. Let me move my straight line up a little bit. So I put 9 over 42 in the quarter, so I can have 1 here, 2 and the 3, on the other side, minus 1, minus 2. In actual fact, this side here, the negative side of x is not very important, because I'm not going to use it to, oh, to sketch, it's a sketch. So this will be minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, then I can have 1 in the, in the 2. So, the graph passes through y equals negative 3, so that's the y-intercept, and x equal to 9 over 4, which is 2 and a quarter, so 2 and a quarter is approximately probably somewhere like there, okay, uh, somewhere like here. Right, then, when I want to sketch it, all the sketches will of course be graded, right? As you can see, uh, the position of the x of the intercept can tell you that there is a positive gradient. So when I sketch it, it looks something like that. Okay, I just have to adjust a little bit. Okay, it looks like that. Then you label it. Now, when you are labeling, you can label it as y equal to 4 over 3x minus 3. If you want, you can also label it as the original equation. It's still fine. Okay. Now, later, we are going to also sketch a quadratic graph on the same system as the linear graph. Okay, we'll do that later on. All right.